Ed eccoci di nuovo qui per scambiare due chiacchiere, questa volta con Leonard Cooper, uomo di riferimento degli Stati Uniti d'America qui a Napoli. Lo abbiamo conosciuto come giornalista del Washington Post, ma anche e soprattutto come scrittore. Infatti, famosissimo ormai è il suo primo romanzo, The Children of Many, che è diventato quasi un successo internazionale, potremmo dire, ed oggi è qui proprio per parlarci di un nuovo progetto che a breve verrà al mondo, che è tutto racchiuso nel suo nuovo libro, Seduction of the Veil. So thank you so much, Lena, for being here. I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so excited to have you here. So the first question I want to ask you is, where does the new story come from? What should we expect from this new novel? Seduction of the Veil is a creation of my imagination. And it all started with my association and affiliation with the Capella di San Severo Museum and the Historical Center here in Naples, Italy. That's where it all started. Um, I traveled to that museum in one year dozens of times because there are so hidden many hidden meanings within those walls and the, the beauty of the artwork in the San Severo Museum is second to none. And what the reader what the reader should expect from this new novels, it's very simple, to be prepared to go on an emotional journey. You will laugh, you will cry, you will tug at your heart, but uh, in the end, the reader will enjoy this book. Maybe as much as I enjoy writing it. But what was the need that prompted you to write this kind of story. Why did you write that kind of story? The reason why I wrote this book was I have a special relationship uh, with women. You know, I started with my mother and my, my weenie, my daughter, and the women I know here in Naples and various parts of the world. And there's a common thread among all of them. They deal with the fragility of life. They are strong in character, but that element, that fragile element, that thread, at any given time, could break, and their world will come crashing down around them. And this, I was prompted to write this story about this young girl who lived such a life where all she wanted was to be happy at any given time simple thread, a fragile point in her life could become prominent and snap and the whole world would come crashing down. In the same way with many other women I know. Your story is full of characters, of course. There is Leita, Geno, Beni, Claudia, etc, etc, etc. But what I want to ask you is, Is there anyone that looks like you more than the others? And do all that come from your imagination or are they taken from the reality in some ways? The lead character, Lietta Vendetti, her position is quite clear with me. She's prominent. But I think she has a little sister named Sophia. So she gets lost in the mix and confused about the life. I sort of feel sorry for her. Now, is there anyone in this story who looks like me? Yeah. I think Mr. Jonas, who lives upstairs, upstairs from the Etta. Yeah, there's a little girl I've known here for 10 years, Geneva. Uh, Mr. Jonas is a black man from Alabama who has been in Italy for a whole bunch of years and can't speak the language like me. But he has a strong sense of self. So I, I guess to some degree, many of the people who are close to me in life, I take part of their personalities and incorporate that in some of these characters as well. What is the deepest meaning of this story? I guess it's the same theme that runs throughout almost everything I attempt to write. Dieta, her mother, 
the brother, Mr. Jonas, all the characters in this book are running the race. They're living their lives. But the end for the reader, if you are going to run the race of life, you're going to fall and fail. But when you fall, it's okay to lie there for a minute. But at some point, you have to get up, dry your tears, brush the dust off, and get back in the race. Before we say goodbye, I want to ask you, will be there a sequel or end? Are you working on uh, other projects? I don't know. But when you're writing these stories, and you create these characters from nothing, and you bring life to them, you miss them when you're finished, like they're real people. I would like to say more about Lieta Benzetti, her little sister, her mother, her father, her friend. When I was writing this book, there were many occasions I thought about, well, maybe I could continue writing more and more about that. And then I have to reel myself back in and stay on point, stay on task. So a sequel, I'm not sure. Now, am I working on other projects? I'm writing another novel called The Watcher, which deals primarily with uh, black folk being stolen off the streets of Alabama between 1920 and 1950, stolen and sold into slavery. And another story I'm working on is I'm working on a stage production of my first book, uh, The Children of My Knee. Uh, I've been approached we are talking about the possibility of writing a stage production for that uh, for this year or next year. So thank you so much Lynn for being here, for accepting my invitation e con voi tutti ci aggiorneremo non appena avremo la data ufficiale di pubblicazione del nuovo romanzo Seduction of the Veil vale. e vi ricordo che contemporaneamente verrà pubblicato anche nella sua versione italiana con il titolo di Seduzione del Velo. Thank you. Thank you.